Wow, best shareholder presentation and meeting ever. Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel, Lifestyle Critic. I hope you're having a brilliant day. So in this video, we are going to be reviewing Succession Season 3, Episode 5. And I have to say, this episode was absolutely awesome. I absolutely love the fact that they were really going deep into the shareholder presentation, the meeting, everything that happened behind the scenes, all of the negotiations. Everything was really, really intense, really, really exciting and true edge of your seat viewing. And I also love the fact that it was a bit of a business lesson in terms of negotiating and seeing how you're always going to stay calm and trying to outmaneuver the other person and always trying, as they said with Logan Roy, always being six moves ahead. And I just think it was a really well crafted episode from a character's point of view as well, as obviously across the previous few episodes in this season, you've really understood where each player is coming from and you really get to see all of that coming to a head this episode, which is really, really great. And I'm going to be breaking it all down for you in this video breakdown. So the main plot point that this episode was centering around was whether or not Waystar Royco are going to be able to reach a settlement with another company or if they're going to open it up to a shareholders vote, which is a bit of a gamble as they don't know how shareholders are going to be voting. In the end, I also thought it was really great how they also looked at the president as well and how in the old school way of thinking, a character like Logan can influence the decisions that a president makes, but obviously that's not going to work nowadays. So I just thought that was really, really interesting from Roman's point of view. But anyway, going back to the vote, I thought it was really brilliant how this other company was really pushing their weight and really pushing their influence in terms of vetoing whether or not a Roy family member is going to be able to lead the company and then when that was disagreed with they were being so bold to say you're not allowed to have private jets anymore obviously logan wasn't going to support any of this but fully taking him off the board i thought was really brilliant as it really allowed all of the other characters to really question whether or not they have the ability to act in logan's and the company's best interest and i just thought brian cox's acting from the point of view of him feeling really paranoid from not taking his medication, I just thought those scenes were absolutely wicked. This episode also looked at loyalties and whether or not people can trust other people as well in the Kendall Roy character, thinking that he's really pulling all of the strings from behind and really thinking that he is able to influence his other company to really put things in his best interest and whether or not that is actually going to materialise in the next few episodes I think is absolutely brilliant. I always love when Jeremy's strong. I feel like in the last few episodes this season, he has kind of been doing his own thing, but when he is in the few scenes with the other Roy family members, I feel like those scenes are absolutely wicked. And this episode was definitely no different as I loved when Kendall Roy entered into the room with all of the other family members. Everyone was really freaking out at the fact that he was there and were also freaking out when he boldly went onto the stage which I thought was really, really jaw dropping. And also the Greg character really has been going from pillar to post thinking that he's being really, really clever. I mean, you can somewhat understand it because this character is clearly out of his depth and is always getting really seduced by all of the different people's propositions to this character. But this time it really came back to backfire on him as Kendall Roy was somewhat threatening him by saying, look, if you don't stick with me, then I am going to burn you. And I wonder if we're going to see this threat coming to life. In the next couple of episodes, speaking of Kendall, I thought it was absolutely brutal how he was totally rejected and humiliated by the Logan Roy character at the end of this episode as Kendall thought that Logan's going to meet him in private but Logan very brashfully just left him there and then just left and then blocked his number from his phone. I mean you can understand why Logan doesn't want to have anything to do with the Kendall character anymore but still you can see Kendall's heart breaking and I just feel like even though he didn't say anything Jeremy Strong was absolutely wicked in those final few moments. I also thought that the Shiv character, she was thinking, I mean, not just in this episode, but definitely in the other episodes as well, really thinking that she is the new leader figure, thinking that she really knows everything about this company. And she was so humiliated herself by Logan when he screamed at her in front of everyone and really just wanted to get back to business with the Jerry character. I think it's going to be really fascinating to see what Logan's going to be doing next, as obviously these few decisions were made while he was temporarily off the chessboard. So I think it's going to be really cool to see how he's going to outmaneuver, especially now that there's a fourth seat member on the board as well. And then the mini storyline that they had with the Tom character, thinking that he's still going to go to jail and wants to get the Shiv character pregnant in the meantime so that he has something to look forward to when he's back. And also this will allow him to have a bit of a grip still into the company. So I just think it's really fascinating how they really look at all of the different characters' perspectives 
and I just feel like this episode was absolutely wicked and how it really set everything up in the previous few episodes and really exploded it in this one. <laughs> So overall, I really, really enjoyed season three, episode five. I think it massively picked up since the last episode. But you know, that being said, you obviously need a few episodes which are going to be setting up storylines so that you have episodes like this and like episode three, which really catapult everything. And I just thought this episode was absolutely wicked, super, super gripping. I absolutely loved all of the business lessons that they were giving in this episode as well. Seeing Frank on stage presenting in front of all of the other shareholders while all of the other characters are trying to avoid this as much as possible I thought was absolutely hilarious and I just cannot wait to see what on earth is going to happen next in the next few episodes of season three but you know those are all of my thoughts on the fifth episode now I'd love to hear from you so please let me know what you thought of it in the comment section below otherwise I look forward to seeing you in my next video.